So you've all by now seen the movie Avengers Endgame, right? Where the Earth faces certain doom and the Avengers assemble to save the planet. If you haven't, no reason to worry. I won't be talking about any Avengers spoilers. I will ask a question that the movies have planted in my head. When will the world end? How and what as humans can we do to prevent it from ending? So, when will the world end? According to the ecologist, most scientists predict that Earth's life will end when it's about 7 billion years of age. Earth was born in a big bang in space. I was born in a big hospital in West London. Earth is 3.5 billion years old and I am 12 years old. If Earth's 3.5 billion years were equivalent to my age, then Earth is halfway through its lifespan and will die at the young age of 24 years. Far too young, I think you would all agree. So, why do scientists predict that the Earth will die so young? How will it end? And like the Avengers, are there any ways in which we can save the planet and help get it to a ripe old age? So, let's start by looking at some ways the world will end in which we simply cannot prevent. After, we will look at some ways in which we can prevent. So, here fellow Earthlings are two unpreventable causes which may cause our planet to die too young. Unpreventable cause number one, a black hole. Black holes are just as popular in Hollywood as the Avengers, but how is science fiction science fact? And how would a black hole end up taking Earth? Scientists believe that recoiled black holes wander through space all the time. A small black hole may pass Earth harmlessly, but if a black hole about the size of the moon formed, it would definitely spell the end. Not even light can escape the force of a black hole. Scientists have two theories of what would happen if a black hole were to take Earth. Theory number one, atoms might stretch until they are pulled apart entirely. Or theory number two, we'd run right into the end of our universe or end up in an entirely different one. Even if it does miss, it may come close enough to cause natural disasters. It could spiral us out of the solar system or hurl us into the sun. Unpreventable end number two, a gamma ray burst. Gamma ray bursts are one of the most powerful forces in the universe. They burst world from collapsed stars. One gamma ray burst sends out more energy than the Earth's sun will over its entire lifespan. A, a gamma ray burst direct hit would strip the Earth of its atmosphere. A gamma ray burst has actually happened before. 440 million years ago, scientists believed that there was a gamma ray, a gamma ray burst pointing towards Earth and it contributed to the first ever mass extinctions. But how likely is it that a gamma ray burst would hit us now? Well, one scientist, who is the head of the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope, says that the equivalence of finding a gamma ray burst is the equivalence of the danger I might face if I found a polar bear in my closet. Finally, as I was writing this in June 2019, a new story broke. You guessed it. A person in Missouri actually found a bear asleep in their closet. <laughs> Maybe a gamma ray burst is not that unlikely after all. So gamma ray bursts and black holes are two unpreventable forces which may bring about Earth's premature demise. Here are two easily preventable forces. Preventable force number one, an asteroid threat. One of the most probable causes to our Earth's demise is an asteroid threat. Just how probable is this? Has it happened before? Well, 65 million years ago, the dinosaurs, the type we've all seen in the Natural History Museum, had a pretty rough day on Earth. An asteroid left a scar on the Earth, which can be seen today, the Chicxulub crater. The 93-mile diameter crater caused the Cretaceous and Paleogene extinction event. 75% of life on Earth was extinct. This half of the room died, and this small percentage of the room managed to survive. What can we do to prevent this? We can use incredible technology, something the dinosaurs couldn't create. NASA right now are working on a plan to build a brand new giant space telescope, which will locate asteroids and predict their courses. Elon Musk, like Tony Stark, is leading a company called SpaceX, who are collaborating with NASA to create a defense capability system, which will send super fast, unpiloted rockets to go off into space and hit the asteroid before it ends our life down here on Earth. Preventable end number two, nuclear explosion. In this age of uncertainty, 
when politicians boast about their nuclear capabilities on the internet, the chance of nuclear conflict has definitely risen to that of which on my birthday in 2007. The number of nuclear warheads has been in decline over my lifetime. However, in August 2019, US and Russia moved just another step closer to an all-out nuclear arms race. More countries own nuclear weapons than ever before, a total of nine, and that includes the UK. What do we have to do to prevent this? All we need is peaceful and responsible leadership. I was lucky enough once to meet a national. His name was Dan Tani. He believed that if politicians and world leaders could only make one trip to space, look back on Earth with no man-made borders, they'll see the sun set and rise over the horizon, that they would seek to protect our planet. Well, with the age of space tourism soon upon us, Dan Tani's theory may actually be tested. Who knows? Maybe humans will be like the Avengers and will save the planet. So what are we waiting for? Avengers, assemble.